what's going on y'all down here checking traps i put out two more water traps yesterday as well as eight dp coon traps and we got two right here one right here next to this deer feeder which i knew they were going to be coming into this spot i probably need to put some more corn in that because that'll guarantee we're going to catch some more right here but that's one and that's two two pretty decent sized coons but um i literally have eight traps out and there are six at this location and these are the last two at this spot we got two coons i got one more spot i gotta go to and check traps so uh check back in with y'all if we got something over there i'm gonna go ahead and take care of these two and uh get those traps reset and this particular property is one of the spots that has like the turkeys which is the whole reason that i started trapping like at all was to try to bring back the turkey numbers and getting rid of these raccoons is definitely going to help that i mean i've been getting tons of pictures of turkeys down here like right by this feeder and i'm pretty sure that's because the past couple years i've been knocking down the raccoons out here but let me go ahead and take care of these two guys and get out of here and uh i'll keep y'all updated on if we catch anything the other two traps all right y'all this right here is the last trap of the day so i put out eight dp um dark proof coon traps yesterday and out of those eight we got three so i think that's pretty good first night's catch three out of eight three out of eight ain't bad and also i forgot to mention when i was at the other spot i also put out two uh snares today i've never used snares before but i met up with one of my neighbors who's actually a trapper for the dnr here in south carolina and he was teaching me a little bit about the snares so i put up two snares by that pond we're gonna try to see if we can't catch a beaver or an otter in the snares but anyway um yeah back to the coons three out of eight so i'm gonna go ahead and take care of this guy and be on the way check back in with y'all tomorrow see what else we got all right y'all got raccoon number four for the season right here i just checked my water traps and they were all empty i added some snares over there um as well by that pond but nothing just yet on the snares or any of the other traps by the water but we can look up on another coon i think the majority of the coons that i caught last season were in this exact spot so i mean it's a trail right there that goes down to the creek so that's why i put a trap right here and i mean it's been paying off so let me go ahead take care of this guy and i'll be on the way Got two more traps to check today. Here we are, back at this spot again. Raccoon number five for the season. Uh, next to these deer feeders, those are like my best spots. They really pay off for me. I mean, I look for trails a lot. Like a lot of times I'll set right off of roads or uh, raccoon trails, but it seems like close to these deer feeders. That's why I had the most luck. At least right now, anyway. But, just wanted to show y'all. This guy right here. It's number five. Got to take care of him and be on the way. This is the last trap for today. But, um, I think on the weekend, I'm going to put out some more of my land traps. Because right now, all I have out are the Duke DP Coon traps and uh, water traps, basically, for the otters and beavers. So, this weekend we'll put out some more and uh, see what we see what we come across out here. But let me go ahead and take care of this guy. Holler at y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all. It's been Coon Week. That's all I've caught this week. More and more coons. And this is number six right here. Probably feels like deja vu. 
Um, I've got eight coon traps out, but it's only been the same three that have caught all of the coons I caught so far. Um, you know, I'm just getting started. So I think this is coon number six. I'm pretty sure it's coon number six. But um, I'm going to keep it moving. I got a couple more traps to check today. All the water traps have been empty. Uh, it's been like that this entire week so far. The only water trap they have connected on was that one drowned rod where we caught the otter. Everything else has been all coons. And I got two more DPs to go check. So we'll probably have another coon. At least I'm hoping. But let me go ahead and take care of this one. And we'll be on the way. What's going on, y'all? This is the first trap that we got to for the day. So hopefully this is going to be a good one. But uh, y'all see it. We got a beautiful red fox here. Beautiful. And I like how his tail has so much black in it. I feel like you don't see that that often. This is a gorgeous male red fox. Um, I don't see like too terribly many red foxes. So I'm contemplating letting this bad boy go. Uh, there's a live market here in South Carolina where you can actually sell the coyotes and foxes on the live market. But, um, got to make a decision right quick. I don't know if I'm going to keep them and try to sell them on the live market or I'm going to let them go. Because honestly, I feel like there are way more coyotes and gray foxes than these reds. So I typically let these reds go. It might not be the best thing to do for what I'm trying to do. But I feel like a few of these reds out here isn't too bad. So we'll see in just a minute if I'm either uh, keep them for the live market or let them go. But I want y'all to see this. I'll put a flat set in right here because uh, coyotes love to walk this road right here. But this guy got to the set first. And on this particular property, I set four traps yesterday. This is the first one that I've got to. I love those flat sets. I have more luck with the flat sets than the uh, dirt holes. But I think I put in three flat sets and a dirt hole yesterday. And I also put in a ton of uh, water traps on two different properties. So we got plenty more traps to check. But this was the first one of the day. Beautiful. And we got like a perfect catch on him. So his foot looks to be in good condition. It's not hurt at all. He's not bleeding or anything like that. So let's uh, get on down the line. All right, y'all. So this is the remake right here. Um. Y'all see this? That's all it is. I got a stick right here sitting on a brick. I put a little lure and a little hole up under that uh, brick or piece of cement block. And I put a little coyote urine right down the tip of that rotten log right there. And um, this whole spot obviously smells just like that red fox. So I'm almost willing to bet we're going to have a coyote here within the next couple of days. Maybe even tomorrow. Because uh, typically when I catch a fox, I usually catch a coyote in that same set. But then like the next couple of days. Just because they they have left so much scent right here. So, uh, like I said before, I feel like we don't got that many reds out here. Like we do with the grays and the coyotes. So, I let that red go and he uh, took off through the woods over here. His foot looked like he was perfectly fine. So, let that bad boy go and um that's probably gonna bring us some luck i feel it all that scent right here and then i put a little dab of coyote lure in the hole up under the brick and uh the urine on the stick right there so i mean this is literally the first trap of the day got plenty more to check so let's get on the get on the road see what else we got what's going on y'all out here checking traps first catch of the day got a nice gray right here and a number one um one of my 
trapping buddies let me borrow our number one because he was saying that was a good trap for foxes um i told him i was only using mb 550s this season and he told me that the mb 550s were uh kind of rough on foxes so i got this number one right here that he let me use and you guys see it it's a beautiful gray right here so i'm gonna get with him and i'm gonna see if we can't uh put this one in a pen and try to sell them to the live market so that's all brand new to me so i don't know how it's gonna go but uh i think that's what we're gonna do with this one i'm gonna give my buddy a call and see what i have to do to try to uh sell this one for the live market so let's keep it moving go on to the next trap see what else we got All right, he's catch number two for the day. It's a possum. Looks like he is taking a nap. And uh, this is another little road right here that I figured animals would be traveling down. And uh, this is also a spot where I believe some of my family back in the day, they, unfortunately, I think they were using this spot like as a dump, so. That's kind of random, but that's something that I plan to try to clean up sooner or later. Because we've been thinking about doing a prescribed burn here. And uh, I want to try to clean some of this stuff up too as well. But anyway, you guys see it. Catch number two for the day. Nice size possum right here. Looks like he's taking a nap. But we got him in an MB 550 in a dirt hole. So... Let me go ahead and take care of him and hopefully we'll have a coyote or something here at a uh, later date. Let's keep it moving down the line. Alright y'all, down here checking. Got a coon right here. Looks like he was trying to dig his way out. It's a pretty good size. Oh, he is almost out. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, take care of this guy. I ain't gonna do too much talking because he got that thing pulled all the way up almost. I mean, he still got a ways to go, but it looks like he's been working on it. So, I want y'all to see this. Um, this is the only catch of the day. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this guy and uh, head it back to the house. All right, y'all. First catch of the day, out on the line again. Got another gray fox here. Um, I caught one on the same property maybe like a couple days ago. And uh, this is number two, which this piece of property is literally, literally like right in my house. And I haven't caught a coyote here. I mainly catch raccoons, possums, and uh, foxes over here. But y'all see, we got another one. So. I'm probably going to get with my homeboy and we're going to uh, box him up. That's what we did with the last Grey Fox. We boxed him up and um, we're going to sell him. Sell him to the live market. So that's uh, that's the plan for this guy. We're going to box him up and get him out of here. So let me go check the rest of the line and see what we got going on. But let me, let me show y'all why I picked this spot. It's literally a road. Come in right here. And then you come up over here. Got a road right here. Goes on this way. So with all these intersections coming together, that's where you want to put a trap, somewhere like that. Because these predators, they use these intersections a lot. They like to use take the path of uh, least resistance. So, I mean, it worked out. All right, y'all. So now we about to try to pack this bad boy up. Hopefully it ain't too much of a struggle. Um, We're gonna end up selling this one on the live market. So, see if we can figure this out without getting killed. Neither one of us. Ah.
Got him in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and take him over to my buddy spot, and we're gonna sell them on the live market. Man. I'm gonna go ahead and put some wire on this door so he can't push it open, and we should be good to go. All right, y'all, got that bad boy loaded up, about to head out. Just wanted to show y'all this remake right quick. Basically, I mean it's still a dirt hole, so I just kind of opened it back up. Put a little drop of lure down in there but at this point this whole spot smells like that gray fox so hopefully we'll have something in here tomorrow and i put two little sticks right here just to, to kind of discourage them from going that way and going more to the right which is where the trap is so hopefully we'll get lucky i haven't caught a coyote just yet this season but the plan is to also sell those on the live market so Keep y'all updated on all of that and uh if we catch anything tomorrow. But it is supposed to rain tonight, so I'm not quite sure. I think it's gonna rain a lot. So if that's the case, we may have nothing tomorrow. But only time to tell. So uh keep y'all posted.